Hey everyone, this is Coffee and Conversation with Danielle and Christina. Hey Christina. Hi. Hi. So everybody who's listening, um, we are starting something brand new and we hope you like it. We are um, going to have a little conversation, just authentic chat about a different topic, just for you to practice listening to real life English. And we thought that would be fun. So we're going to start today. We're going to have a topic. And every day we'll have it well, every day. Every time we have one of That's these it. podcasts, we will have a topic and we will kind of just discuss naturally along the way. And since we're calling our podcast Coffee and Conversation, we thought, what better conversation to start with than coffee? Um, right. So anyway, first of all, before we get into that, though, a little bit about us. We are ESL teachers, and uh, right now I live in Alabama. Um, Christine yeah. and I used to work together, but then yeah. I left Illinois. Yeah, we used to work in Illinois together, and then you just decided to leave us. <laughs> no, I didn't decide to leave you. I decided to leave the cold. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, and today you probably really appreciate being in Alabama. <laughs> yeah, so um, it is February right now and I just saw out of Christina's window and it's looking pretty rough. It's snowing, it's blowing, it looks cold and I'm sorry but I went shopping today in my t-shirt. No jacket, oh, no nothing. <laughs> Sandals. Rub it in. <laughs> I know. Rub it in. That's a good good uh, idiom there rub it in. it is a good idiom yes uh, rub it in uh, just to get somebody um, make them feel even worse about a situation but in a good way it's a funny way it's not yes. a serious thing yeah. and we tease each other all the time so yes everybody will get to experience a little bit of that yes uh, we used to have so much fun um, when we were doing our classes sometimes we'd bring our classes together and then you know all craziness was had. <laughs> yes. Yep. But, you know, it was all good. It just made, I think it made teaching for us and learning for students just so much more fun. Oh, yeah. And engaging. And, for so. sure. I think teaching when we're ESL having fun. is a lot of fun. Yeah, yes. for sure. And I think when we're having fun, they're having fun, hopefully. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going with that anyway, let's say. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get to talking about coffee. Um, one of the reasons we chose this is because uh, we both love coffee. I don't know about you out there. Yes. Take a sip of that coffee. Get ourselves oh, going. Yes. Uh, but we love coffee. We often would go to um, coffee shops together mm -hmm. and uh, just sit and sip just and chit chat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just yeah. sitting and chit chatting. Um, so what did you always like, when did you start liking coffee? Because that wasn't kind of, I, I wasn't in love with the coffee right off. Really? The oh, that's nah. so funny. Yeah. So when, when did you start drinking and kind of getting into the whole coffee thing? Wow. I would say it was pretty young because, um, I remember I saw my parents drinking coffee and they always drank it black. So mm -hmm. everybody I knew drank black coffee. So the idea of putting something in it was kind of weird for me. But it always smelled so good, you know. Um, even as a young kid, I was like, hmm, it smells really good. And I probably started drinking it maybe when I was about 14 or 15. Not like okay. real seriously, but right, you know, yeah. just kind of every Here so often. There. Well, I remember, so about high school, I think, yeah, I was like a teenage years. My parents always drank coffee in the morning. First thing in the morning, the coffee would be made and the house smells kind of the same way. It's just nice. But I remember my mom always telling me that, well, you could just have a little bit. You're too young. For <laughs> yeah. So then finally in like, oh, by the time I was graduating high school. Um, so my mom, my mom's neighbor would come over almost every morning and they would have coffee. Just a cup of coffee and chat, just like yeah. we do. Yeah, that's you know what that's what you do when you have coffee. Yeah. You need to chat. <laughs> well, and the kind of chat goes easier. It too does when you have yes. coffee. So that's when I started having a cup, you know, here and there. But you know, the same thing. My mom always drinks black coffee, and I started drinking black coffee with just a little bit of sugar or sweetener in it. And it's not until very first time I came to the United States. 
By the way, I'm from Ukraine. Yeah, we didn't say that. <laughs> yes, but um, you yeah. will notice uh, her English is amazing, so like what? a native speaker. Oh, so no. uh, we'll have a lot of cool things to talk <laughs> about to compare because um, it's always nice to have a comparison between the U.S. and how things are in other places. Other countries. So, yeah. so, you know, very first time when I came to the United States, I tried a latte mm. because I... I before that, I was like, oh, latte. I don't know what that was. And that's when I got hooked on um, lattes and coffee with milk. Oh, okay. So now, um, if I don't have milk in my coffee, it's hard for me to drink just a straight black coffee. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I'm the opposite. Well, I just can't imagine yeah. putting anything in it. It's just like, oh. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. But then, you know, the whole idea, like I've, uh, until I moved to the United States, I did not realize that there is this whole coffee subculture. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, you drink coffee and you have conversation or you have friends or people over and you have dinner and then you always have coffee at the end with, you know, cookies or cakes or any sort of dessert. That's just how it is in my culture. Well, at least was when I was growing up. But then I noticed moving in the United States, to the United States, I noticed, you know, coffee shops and people just, oh, we're going to go have some coffee. And the whole, the whole idea of coffee is just, it's not the same as it used to be when I was growing up. And it just evolves. I mean, there's a whole science about coffee. And yeah. <laughs> I I just think it's the coolest thing on earth. And I think this is when I realized that I am addicted to coffee now. Yeah. Well, it's funny that you talk about the, the coffee. coffee culture. Um, of course, <clears throat> you and I both know I'm a little bit older than you. Not much. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> and um, even like when I was a teenager or in my 20s, <clears throat> coffee shops were not the thing that they are now. And I remember um, living in Chicago and, you know, just walking around, you know, some of the cool areas there. And I saw a Gloria Jean's coffee bean shop. And I was like, oh, and it was cold. And I thought, yeah, I'll go in here and I'll sit down and I'll have a cup of coffee and warm up. And it was just so comforting and comfortable. Oh. And I thought, man, why aren't there more of these? Well, apparently um, somebody else had that idea <laughs> because yes. now they're everywhere. They are everywhere. And I mean, all that, I mean, besides the chain um, coffee places, and I don't know, are we, can we name some places? I know you mentioned. I know. Jean, I just but... realized I said that and I'm like, okay, <laughs> but, um, anybody want to sponsor us? But, Go right ahead. But, uh, yeah, right. But, but don't come but at us. <laughs> <laughs> but when you look at, I, I mean, and we're, you know, it's just, it's an experience because we go to those places as well. And besides the chain coffee shops, um, you, I, I always had a soft spot for a local, like a yes. local coffee shop. And so I have this thing that anytime I travel to a different city, a different town, any different place, I always have to find a local coffee shop for that sure. I have to visit and get a cup of coffee. And at some point in time, I started collecting little coffee cup sleeves. Oh, you mean like the, the the jacket kind of the, thing to keep your um, yes yeah oh, yeah well this little sleeve where they usually like have to keep it warm printed yeah uh, no no like it's so you don't burn your hand right like right this yeah little, um, that's what I meant you're right not not cupboard. to keep it warm yeah. but to keep you cool <laughs> sorry <laughs> right right so <laughs> no no you're right um <laughs> so it's like they're usually cardboard little yeah. sleeve that goes around the cup so you don't burn your hands. And um, I started collecting them, and I had this big idea of making this big collage of them. Oh, that would be cool. Well, yeah, it was a cool idea, except I have these sleeves all over the house now. I don't even know where. I just keep finding them everywhere I go. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it's there's just something about a local coffee shop. Yeah. It, it's the feeling, the atmosphere. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I still go to, you know, chain coffee places, like the the regular ones, but there's just something. Yeah, I'm with that. you too. Yeah. I remember when I lived in Chicago, there was a little place um, near me and mm -hmm. I would go there, um, not really before work because I was a last there's minute no person and no time for stopping anywhere before work. 
Uh, but on the weekend, sometimes I'd go in there. I used to volunteer, and so I would stop there. And man, they had the best cup of coffee. And I, to this day, I remember this <laughs> cup of coffee. And all I know about it is was it was from Nicaragua. And I remember going back, because they would change it every week, you know, and I would go back and I would be like, hey, do you have that Nicaraguan coffee? And they're like, oh, no, not today. And to this day, I kick myself that I didn't ask, where did you get the coffee? <laughs> right, like what type of coffee it was. You know, speaking about the best um, coffee, so this one time, a student from Mexico that was in my class, she um, went home went to Mexico for, I want to say, a couple of months in the summer. And then when she came back, she brought me a bag of coffee, right? Just the, I don't think it was beans. It was whole beans. It was ground coffee. And it was coffee from this organic, small batch, family-owned oh, farm. Oh, cool. And it was the best coffee I've ever had, the best brewed coffee you could make at home. I still can. I I remember the taste. I don't. You know, isn't that yeah, just strange? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I can still taste. taste that coffee that I was talking oh. about. But again, but the same thing. I forgot. I didn't save the bag, or I didn't you don't remember what place it was in Mexico, and I just can't find the one that tastes that good. Yeah, it's a shame. Isn't so it? I, I I know. <laughs> but so I was going to ask you. Um, you know. Some people say there's a difference when you drink coffee from either a mug, like a, you know, China mug or, um, or a, a plastic cup or a metal cup or, um, or the paper ones. Mm -hmm. Like, does coffee taste different for you when you drink from those? Absolutely. And a lot of people think I'm crazy. Um, so as you, the rest of you can't see, but you can see I've got my travel mug. It's a metal with a little lid. And I drink my coffee out of this all the time. If I go to my aunt's really? house and she's going to be serving coffee, I bring my own mug and they laugh at me. And I said, you know, I don't, I can't believe that you don't know what I'm talking about. It's not just marginally better in this mug. Okay. It is way, way, way better. And it stays hotter and it lasts longer. Mm-hmm. Just as a little right. aside, this morning I had a problem with this cup. I put it in the dishwasher last night. And whenever I do that the next day, I have to like really rinse it, rinse it, rinse it really well. Because oh. there's like a little funny flavor in there. So it was tasting a little funky. So I put the coffee in just a regular mug. And I drink it so fast. And I was oh, like, oh. really? Yeah, usually that coffee would last me, you know, half the morning. Well, well, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can see that. So how about you? you do see, you feel uh, the same way? I do. Oh, I, okay, and I see. thought it was just me. And I was trying to explain to one of my friends when we were drinking coffee that it just doesn't taste the same. That, yeah. And they looked at me like, well, you must be a little crazy, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you know, for crazy. me. <laughs> <laughs> for I mean, reasons. we have that in common, right? <laughs> yeah. We realize that. We already have that. Um, but for me, it has to be a ceramic mug. Okay. Like that. All right. And when you, um, I've noticed that. You know, when you go to a coffee shop and they always ask you if you want a to go or for here. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times I just go and pick up a cup of coffee and have to leave. But whenever I stay at the coffee shop with my friends or um, I always ask for it to, for here oh, because so they give it to you in a ceramic mug. And I don't know what is it, but it just tastes so much better. Isn't that funny? And I'm the opposite. If I'm sitting there, right. um, I will ask for a to-go cup and I'll sit there with my little to-go cup drinking it. Isn't There's something funny? I think about like the the flavor being trapped by the lid it somehow it be, does yeah. something. I don't know what it is, but it could be. It's good. <laughs> but it is. It is. And it's just, I even have um, like travel mugs that are ceramic. Yeah. Because it's just, for some reason, that taste. I don't know what is it. Yeah. It, yeah. it just tastes better. It's, it's interesting, so. though, that we both feel that way about the coffee, but our take on it is a little bit different, you know, but we yeah. both feel very strongly that the container is important. Well, and that's the thing about coffee. There is no right or yeah. wrong way to like your coffee. Exactly. You know, and it's, so what, you know, like thinking about coffee shops and 
do you have dif- like a favorite place? I know you said about that Chicago one. Yeah, I don't had even the know if they're coffee. in business anymore. Probably I not. Wonder. Yeah. But do you have a place if that you would always want to go back to or like you've had the best cup of coffee? Not really. Um, certainly not around the- here. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. So it's mostly just drinking coffee at home. I don't, uh, okay. But yeah, occasionally. Oh, just came back from a cruise. And yeah. we'll talk about that some other time. But it was really delicious coffee they had. But, you know, everything there is so, Gosh. you know, delicious high quality. Just, so Yeah, I bet. Yeah. How about you? Where do you like your coffee? So, I mean, I am kind of picky about my coffee. Um, I do like the brewed coffee at home that I make, but um, there is, there are a couple of local coffee shops we have here in town and I always like their coffee. It's just, they are different. They taste completely different, but I, I do like them better than like a chain coffee places. Yeah. I'm with you there. But one of the best lattes I've ever had was in uh, I think it was Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, I would not have there, guessed that. <laughs> oh, so there is this coffee shop. Again, I always try to find something that's local, that's mm-hmm. different. There is a coffee shop that is in this old theater that's not, I don't know if it's a like a open theater anymore, if it's working theater, but... On the lower level of that theater, like a performing arts theater, they um, opened this coffee shop. And I ordered a latte there. I don't remember exactly the flavor it was, but they make you a latte, right? And right before you pick it up, like they will call your name to pick up your latte when it's ready. Right before you pick it up, they take a um, orange rind, a piece of orange skin. Okay. And they light it on fire. What? <laughs> and dip it in your coffee. Never heard of that. Oh my gosh! I mean, just you know, the whole performance of yeah, that was right. really it's cool. A show. But that coffee was amazing because every sip I took, at the beginning, it just had that very slight kind of orange taste. Mm-hmm. That was not overpowering. That wasn't really strong. And then you get the taste of coffee after that. And I cannot explain. But in words, but it was out of this world. Wow. It was the best cup of coffee or like the best coffee experience. I've it's had. so funny. So did you ever try to make it yourself at home, lighting some orange lime, rinds or oh something? Oh gosh, you, I would probably get my house on fire if I tried <laughs> to do that with my luck. <laughs> but I just don't know what it was. It was just so cool. And the coffee itself was delicious. And I never thought, you know, just putting orange or anything with orange in coffee, how is that going to work? Yeah, it doesn't seem like something that would go, but, you know, there's no telling. Sometimes the strangest things make a delicious combination. Yes, but I was thinking, and I'm always interested in different, like, ways of people drinking coffee. Um, Because when you go into you know, coffee shop, then you see all of these different things. Like you can have a drip coffee or espresso or Americano or latte or cafe au lait or cappuccino, you know, all these so different much. things. <laughs> right. But then you know what? So here's the interesting thing. I was kind of reading because I like to read. Anytime I see an article that comes up and something about coffee, I'm like, oh, I got to read that. <laughs> yeah. I have to read that. So I was reading and all of these coffee, like different types of drinks, coffee drinks, they all come from different cultures in different countries. Yeah. So it was so interesting that, you know, I mean, we all know that like the espresso and cappuccino, it's it's Italian, right? Cafe au lait is French, apparently. Um, there is, um, I was even looking, so coffee that's served with milk, like black coffee and... Um, it's like, I think it's like more of a Vienna coffee. And then, you know, chai. I feel like lately, oh, yeah. <laughs> chai has been very popular. And that partially, that actually comes from Malaysia. So do, the, because my understanding of chai is, of course, you know, my husband is from India, so he has chai and right. it's tea. Yes. So yes. is there a different kind of chai that's with coffee? 
So yes, they do. They they fix. So you make coffee, and then you make tea with milk,、oh. and you combine that. Oh, that's new for、and、me. And that's that's a that's what they serve in Malaysia. It's kind of traditional drink in Malaysia. Wow. Um. Or then the new thing kind of recently came up in a few years was flat white. Yes. That's actually Australian. Oh, it's a drink from Australia. It's very、um, popular drink there that was kind of started in Australia.、Um, or then you know when you think about iced coffee, I see a lot of especially young people. You know those young people. <laughs> yeah, those. <laughs> <laughs> They love iced coffee. Iced coffee or blended with iced coffee. I always feel like you can't trust people who like iced coffee, but that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> To ask you about that if you like iced coffee because I do not. I I not don't like、can. cold coffees. I want real coffee. Yes. Sorry very, to you very, out there who、yeah. like iced coffees,、yeah. but no, I'm sorry. I mean, nothing, nothing, not you know, no offense, but <laughs> but no thank you,、um, <laughs> no thank you, right? So、um, I've noticed that. Well, I read that a frappe is actually comes from Greece. Ah,、oh, okay. And iced coffee, like you know how a lot of times,、um, and I started drinking that with hot coffee. Actually,、um, you make coffee and you put condensed milk in it. I remember you used to do that. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious! But apparently, when it's in iced form, that comes from Vietnamese. Yeah, part of I the, have、uh, heard Vietnamese of that. Vietnamese culture. Now that you say that. Yeah. yeah, it's a Vietnamese coffee. So there's just, and I'm looking at all these. You know, like when you go into the coffee shop and you try to look at all the drinks they have there, and no it's wonder it's overwhelming, like, right? Because it's from all over well, the place. Right, but you think it's like a little. It's a whole world of coffee in one place. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that is like how cool is that? That is a really cool take on it. I love that. Yeah. So, or you know, like the cinnamon coffee. I mean, that's Mexican. That's true. Yeah.、Know. Or、oh, I love、um, cinnamon coffee. That's nice. Middle Eastern、um, coffee. Apparently,、uh, you know, you brew coffee and then you put like cardamom and like a different warm spices in there.、Mm-hmm. So that's very、um, popular in Middle Eastern countries or Arabic countries, and I'll tell you this one time: it was a chain, like a chain coffee place. I was traveling somewhere, probably to Chicago. I think I was going to a conference, one of those fun things, right? Yes. <laughs> and I stopped to get some coffee on the way,、um, and they had this seasonal drink. Um, and they actually called it. I want to say they called it like an Indian summer or something like that drink. Um, and it was a cardamom coffee. Oh, so you could get it as a you know brewed coffee with the cardamom in it, or as a latte with the little cardamom in it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was looking for that coffee everywhere after that because it was so good. So then I actually made my own cardamom pot syrup at home. Oh、so、come on! My coffee. <laughs> This is how crazy I am when it comes to coffee. I don't. <laughs> So,、hmm, I'm hearing something. I hope this is not. <laughs> no,、nope. you're not、oh, hearing you're anything.、Good. Okay. Oh, no. Well, no.、Nope. Well, we shall continue. So, okay.、Yeah. Well, that's. Tell me, how do you make cardamom syrup? What the heck is that? <laughs> so I bought. I、uh, had to research the、yeah. whole thing and figure out how to do it. So you buy cardamom pods,、um, and then you just、uh, boil them in sugared water. Like with some sugar and、mm-hmm. water, and you make simple syrup with that cardamom. You just kind of have to boil and then steep with a closed lid on it,、um, and then you just add it to your coffee, and it absolutely is amazing.、Mm, wow! So, Because so I mean,、good. we put that in Indian tea, but I never thought of for coffee. I love cardamom, and you know what? Thank you, ESL students, because they are the ones who got me hooked. On cardamom, really? I oh my gosh, this desserts like all the desserts that come with cardamom from India. Oh yeah, and, ah, yeah, there's some、it. good stuff. So good. Wow. Okay, so oh, but you were talking about coffee from all over the place.、Um, yeah. So how was it different when you go to Ukraine? How do they drink the coffee there normally? Is it anything different than the way you see it served here? Well, so when I was growing up there, and you know, most of my life there,、um, 
usually it's just a home brewed coffee and it would be the same you either drink it black or um, you drink it with milk and maybe a little bit of sugar and at that time there weren't many coffee shops yeah but well, oh a few years after I moved here I went back you know to visit my family and all that and I started noticing that they are starting they started opening up coffee shops and now, last time I was there back in 2019, um, and they're everywhere now. They have coffee shops. They have little coffee, um, like coffee buses that just parked on the street, oh. like coffee trucks, like a food truck, yeah, but yeah. like a coffee. Okay. So they're just everywhere now. I and wish we had some of those get, here. <laughs> oh, it is. And they're so cute, you know, because this kind of has that kind of European little flair. Yeah. Um, there was one that was like a double decker bus that was like a coffee shop kind of thing. And you could go in Super and coffee cute. in Kiev. Yeah. But, you know, it, this was like a gem for me when I discovered in my hometown. Um, it was literally uh, two blocks away from my parents' place. There's this little coffee shop that is also a bookstore, but not like bookstores here when you go to right. Barnes and Noble, right? And yeah, this was a local coffee shop, and the bookstore it was more of a like a book library ah. because you walk in and you have it's very quiet, it's very cozy, and you walk in and then there's a coffee shop with all the drinks and all that stuff, and then there's these little tables with two or three chairs. And there's a little room behind, but all the walls are covered in these huge bookcases. From top to bottom, they're all filled with books. And you can just sit there and read and drink coffee? Yep. Or you can borrow a book and then bring it back. And, you know, it it was just, I think it was the perfect place for me. I mean, to that I was visiting my family, so I had to spend time with my family. I could just stay in the coffee shop all the time. But (laughs) Yeah. Um, but it was just the most cozy place, and the coffee was delicious, and people were just so nice and pleasant and inviting, and books and coffee. They go together better really than well. That, yeah, right? for sure. And a good friend for a conversation makes it even better. Yeah, I love some so. of those specialty coffee shops that have something else going on, like you say, the mm-hmm. bookstore, library kind of thing. There's also cat cafes. When, yes. Yeah, when we went to Savannah, Georgia, we went to a cat cafe and, you know, another thing I love, cats and coffee, you know, perfect combination. So you go in there, you pay your little entrance fee and get a cup of coffee and go and play with the cats that are available for adoption. That's really fun. Oh, then they so have, you could potentially walk out with a cat. Well, I, we did not walk out with a cat because <laughs> I already had a cat that, you know. I'm surprised. She, <laughs> she, she was not going to be welcoming um, a friend, that was for sure. <laughs> oh. But, you know, that is so, it's just such a good idea because, well, besides that, you know, you, you can go and have coffee and relax and, it is very therapeutic yeah. to, you know, be around animals, cats or dogs, and pet them and just have a good time and spend time with them. But at the same time, you can help the cause and yeah. adopt the cat and, you know, provide it. It's a win-win-win, win, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, and if it's a good coffee that's involved in it, then I mean, come on. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. It's perfect. Yeah, and what other kind of oh coffee shops also that have board games? That's another fun thing. <gasps> yes, yes. Yeah, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah, um, there is one right outside of our town here that is a local also coffee shop. Um, they also have like a little ice cream parlor there on the other side, and all the tables have board games. Nice. So you can just play whatever you have on a table and exchange for a different one, it, and it is very cozy and fun. And, yeah, such a good idea. People have great ideas now, I think. But you know what? I feel like if not for coffee, they wouldn't have had these ideas. <laughs> right? you got to be caffeinated and awake and, <laughs> you know, getting some, uh, getting those creative juices flowing with the caffeine. <laughs> for <Right>. sure. <laughs> yeah. So it is nice. It is. But like, and that's what I mean. Like, it is a whole um, subculture. Yeah. It's. It's a culture of coffee. I mean, and there's people out there that are experts with coffee, like, you know, like those uh, sommeliers for wine. I mean, there are people that really the, know coffee. Yes. 
Or, I mean, they have a whole competition for yeah. against us. So this yeah. is becoming more like a professional level working with coffee. Yeah. And all that, which makes sense. Sounds like a great job, right? <laughs> Let me you get taste to smell coffee and, all day. <laughs> yeah, drink coffee. And be, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> but you know what? I also notice people who don't like to drink coffee, um, they still enjoy the smell. The scent. Yeah. I mean, the scent is amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. For sure. Well, yes. Uh, so I think people have figured out that we are ca- we are coffee fanatics. Crazy. <laughs> crazy about coffee. Caffeinated and crazy. No. <laughs> So I think it's probably about time to bring this to a close, but I thought um, it would be kind of fun to talk about some interesting facts about coffee, just to kind of close this. What do you think? Sure. Sounds good. So I looked up a couple of things. You probably know the answers to a lot of these things. I didn't necessarily know, oh, but know. we'll see. <laughs> um, okay. So we'll start off relatively easy. Um, which country produces the most coffee? Um, well, it's good that people can't see my face right now. <laughs> I don't think I immediately thought um, of this either. Once I heard the answer, I was like, oh, yeah, of course. But, you know, I, I, it didn't really come to me. I was going to say Mexico, but I think I might be wrong. Colombia? I would have guessed Colombia, but it's actually Brazil. Ah. And and by a lot, apparently. It's um, like okay. big, big. Makes sense. Though. And it's so funny yeah. because I don't really hear about the Brazilian people that I know. They're not really that into coffee which is which is kind of interesting well okay that brings me to my question in a minute here um next question which states in the u.s produce coffee oh that's a good question i never thought of it i never thought of it either but that came, I mean, would you, came up in my would research you think it's more of like a southern states i would say maybe very California. very very south Southwest, south, south, southwest. Uh, like New Mexico, Hawaii, yeah. Hawaii, yes. Yes. So. I mean, makes sense, yes. Yeah, and when you hear it, it makes sense. California is the other one, and it's kind of strange oh. because some lists say Hawaii is the only state, um, but some lists say no, Hawaii and California. So who knows what the real answer is? Well, I mean, it could be Illinois next because <laughs> really? I know nobody can see, but I have two small coffee plants in my house. Right? Come on. <laughs> I told you I was crazy. We about really coffee. have a coffee <laughs> nut here in case it wasn't clear. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll have to try your coffee. I'll be first in line. Oh, it's going to be 10 years, probably, <laughs> by the time I have a bean. <laughs> yeah, it's like my avocado. I always say I want to make a oh. make grow an avocado plant, and it's yeah. like 10 years to do it or something. I'm like, no, I'd rather just go to the store and get one. It's a lot faster oh, and yeah. easier. Oh, I mean, <laughs> For yeah. one little rinky-dink avocado <laughs> 10 years from now, no thank you. <laughs> I don't have that kind of patience. <laughs> okay, next question. Which yeah. city in the U.S. drinks the most coffee? Uh, I was going to say New York. That would be it. In fact, they drink what? seven times more coffee than people from other U.S. cities. And it kind of makes sense. Like they're on the go, right? Yes. Moving around fast. Yeah, yeah you got to yes. have that caffeine. Now, here was an interesting question. If you guess this, I'll be surprised because I never would have guessed this. Which country consumes the most coffee? Which country in the world consumes the most coffee? Huh. I would say maybe one of the Scandinavians. Oh, you're so good. Yes. <laughs> would it be like Sweden or Switzerland? Oh, so close. That, no. So close. Finland. Norway? Finland. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And the thing is, because I was saying a minute ago, like Brazil makes the most coffee, but yeah. you don't really hear that much about Brazilians drinking coffee and they drink matcha or something i think more i i don't know but finland of course you know they're not making coffee there but they're they drink right. the most coffee and it says and okay warm. So, the average so. adult finn drinks 27.5 pounds of coffee each year um <gasps> compared to 11 pounds per american i mean that's significantly more coffee so that's like a pound per week <laughs> that's a lot of, well yeah, like half a pound a week. 
Yeah. That's crazy. Whoa. Okay. Um, oh, one more question here. What? Go ahead. Oh. No, interesting. It is. I thought it was super interesting. Okay. Um, why is coffee sometimes referred to as Joe? Now, as you know, there are a lot of um, nicknames and slang words for coffee, and one of them is Joe, like a cup of Joe. Uh, why do you suppose they call it Joe? Morning, Joe. I have no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either, so I certainly didn't expect you to know that. Um, it's related to the phrase, the average Joe. Um, for those of you who don't know, sometimes when we talk about just kind of like the typical thing that people do, we yeah. say, oh, you know, the average Joe. And mm -hmm. so coffee is considered like a plain universal beverage that can be enjoyed by pretty much every average Joe. Everyone. So it became Joe. Isn't that interesting? Cup of Joe. Yeah, I thought so. There's nothing average about coffee. <laughs> I know. I was going to say that. but <laughs> Okay, this one you probably do know. Um, okay. And we'll end this on a funny one, I think. Um, do you know what the most expensive coffee in the world is? The most expensive coffee in the world? Yeah. Oh. I'm sure you've heard about this, because this is the one Isn't that I did like know. The one that <laughs> uses a certain either animal or yes. bug or something like that <laughs> as a... Either fertilizer or some sort, no, or some sort of a processing. Oh, it's the fertilizing processing. Is yep. it the fertilizing processing, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it has. I mean, okay. Can I just say it has something to do with the poop? It has something to do with poop. All right, it sure does. Okay, so um, it is made from this animal. It's called a civet. Um, mm -hmm. nice Scrabble word. Right. I use this so often. That's right. Um, <laughs> it's an animal that kind of resembles a cat and the animal eats the, um, they're actually not, uh, coffee beans. You know, we call them beans, but they're actually seeds or berries fruits or, or something. Yeah. So they eat those berries, uh, coffee mm -hmm. berries, and then they poop them out. And that's where we get the beans, uh, the brew from brewing those <laughs> beans extracted from the poop <laughs> and well, that's, yeah it is sold between one hundred dollars and six hundred dollars a pound oh my gosh well i can <laughs> tell you with a clear, you know clear mind that i have never tried that one. well that was going to be my <laughs> next question would you ever try it <laughs> you know what well <laughs> I do consider myself adventurous. <laughs> so maybe if I didn't know right away. And if you didn't have to pay for it, it, you know, if it were free, maybe well, that would. That, you know. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. But I mean, there has to be something about it that makes it so good that people are willing to pay this. I know. Money. But, you know, the other thing comes to my mind, like, who was the first person that said, oh, look at that animal just ate a bunch of uh, coffee uh, berries and, berries uh, yeah you know what would be a great idea how about if we take the berries from the poop and make some coffee out of it <laughs> who was the first person that thought that <laughs> i don't know but i'm pretty sure they're they're doing really well in financially nowadays <laughs> i sure hope so because wow that that's really um <sighs> that's that's pretty creative <laughs> yes yes you just never know the inventions. I mean, yeah. you just never know. You don't know. Cool. Okay, well, that is all, all right. my trivia I have for today. Do we have any last uh, coffee thoughts? or? Oh, um, no. I mean, just... Ha well, cheers. Cheers, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm going to go through um, our little chat today and find some phrases and expressions and maybe make some notes about our chat today. So we'll be having some show notes for you to check out and hopefully you've learned some new phrases, um, expressions, learn a little bit about coffee. Um, yeah, and we'll be back with another topic soon. Great. So it was awesome chatting with you again, Christina. Yeah, it was great to talk to you. And, Yay, and you know, this was one of my favorite topics. topics. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. until next time. Until next time. And cheers. Enjoy that coffee. I will. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.